Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, though. Wanna know if I can hear it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though. When hey, everyone, oh. and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today, I thought I would do my five favourite natural and organic mascaras because I haven't done one in a while. Some of them are stupid. Same. Some of them have gone a bit different and I started, to, well I did that video when I first started my YouTube channel and I'm sorry but I cringe it every single time. So I really wanted to do an updated one just so I could be like, yeah watch this one instead of this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because it would absolutely make my day. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with number five and do a countdown. Um, they do have an order because some of, they're all great, I really enjoy them all, I love using them but um, number two and number one are my top favourites so I just thought I would do a countdown. You don't want to let it all out the back straight away do you? In at number five is the Jane Iredale Longest Lash Mascara. Um, this is really really lovely, um, it's a great mascara, it gives really good coverage and I love the size of the brush on it as well. The only thing I would say about it is I sometimes get the fall off underneath, um, it sometimes smudges and I'm a sneezer. I do like seven or eight sneezes at the same time in one go and I do that probably maybe three or four times a day. Because I'm sensitive to people's um, fragrance so if they've got a lot of um, aftershave or perfume on then it just sets me off sneezing so um, yeah I sneeze a lot so this is my number five I really love it really good coverage um, maybe not so great for you sneezers out there but um, yeah really nice number four is the Eye of Horus Bio Lash Lift Mascara this is a really really lovely mascara that got sent to me not so long ago and I love that it's got this kind of curved wand on it and it's kind of like plasticky rather than fiber. Um, it just gives a really different look. Um, it's still quite natural, so I have to build it up a little bit, but the wear on it is really nice. I don't seem to get as much fallout as what I do with the Jane Iredale, and um, yeah, I really like it. It doesn't give as much volume as what the Jane Iredale one does. I think it's really nice, I really like it, I really enjoy using it, so yeah, this is my number four. Oh, three, two, one. It's a close call. Number three is very close to number two and number one. Um, this is the RMS Volumizing Mascara. Um, I use this quite a lot in my videos and I really like it. The wand is different to the other two and, um, well, it's different to all five of them to be honest and it's just kind of really thin and um, has like kind of the circular cutouts um, but it seems to go on my lashes really really well and gives them a really decent amount of coverage and volume and length and I've got it on at the moment actually and um, this is three coats that I've got on my eyes and I really love it but again this does tend to smudge underneath my eyes occasionally so I think that's why it would be number three um, but as I said, three, two, and one are really close together because I really do love them and I use them really regularly. So I've been using this one for quite a while now and I tend to use it daily at the moment just because the other two I've started to run out of. So I just need to top up with them, but these are great. Um, this is great. I really like it and um, would definitely recommend it. Number two, number two and one are so, so close. Um, this is Well People Mascara and I'll leave the link down for it below so you get the full name of it, but and this is in black. And this is amazing, I absolutely love it. This is the wand, it's kind of like it goes out in the center and then back in again. And it's just brilliant, the coverage is brilliant, it doesn't fall off underneath my eyes, it gives a really dramatic look and it's just phenomenal, really really love it, you should definitely buy this. Or number one, like you just can't go wrong with either of them so it just depends where you can get them. I know that well people have started to go to Target in America so you'll be able to pick it up there really really easily rather than having to buy it online which I find that would make me want to buy it a bit more just because if it's in a shop then it's just really easy when you run out to go and get it rather than think oh I've got to like buy it online so yeah this is amazing counting down to number one is the most amazing mascara ever and this is the Lily Lolo mascara it's affordable it gives amazing coverage it's basically just as good as any other non-natural high performance mascara 
It's absolutely brilliant. It doesn't give me any smudging underneath. It gives me really great coverage. I get the thickness and the length from this on my lashes. And um, it's just brilliant, like absolutely fabulous. So if you want to try a new mascara, then I would absolutely recommend this one first. And then, well, people want second. It just depends. I think it comes down to where you can get it and if you can get it quickly and easily because that's going to be the thing that makes you want to keep buying it over and over again. So maybe the Well People one might be easier for you to get if you're in America, but the Lily Lolo might be easier for you to get if you're in the UK or in other areas. So, oh, my phone. So they are my top five mascaras for you that are all natural or organic. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see any more top fives of anything, then do leave a comment down below and I will see what I can do for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on the next video.